No, I've been an atheist since I was about eight or nine. What was the moment that made you into an atheist? I love Jesus. I love the idea of, you know, I love the idea of Jesus because he was a, like a superhero. Uh, the, the, the God bit wasn't so special to me, but I love Jesus because he was kind and, you know, I read the stories in the New Testament about what... Yeah. I thought it was brilliant, brilliant bloke. Well, that's the way to be. Like, be, like, be like Jesus, you know. And I remember I was doing the Bible studies and stuff and my brother Bob came in, who was 11 years older than me, so he was about 19, and he just went, um, why do you believe in God? And my mum went, Bob. And I knew she was trying to shut him up. And, I, I, and that was all that happened. And I thought about it. I thought, oh, no, of course there isn't. Of course there isn't. And I'd already sort of, I was always into science and nature. And I thought, yeah, it doesn't make sense, does it? doesn't make sense. And, you know, it, you know I, I understand why, you know, at the time it seems like a good lie. You know, to, to a working class mum, Jesus is an unpaid babysitter. You know, if I can't, if I'm not watching you, someone is. You know, they, they do it for, for good reason, I, I think. And um, religion's greatest trick wasn't making people, some believe there, there was a God. It was, it was telling you you shouldn't ever ridicule the idea that it was sacred to, to, uh, to question this dogma. And, of course, it's not. And uh, as both a, a scientist, a bit of a philosopher and a professional comedian, um, that is so important to me. That nothing's sacred. Nothing should be beyond a joke. Well, there's no subject you shouldn't joke about, but it depends on the target. People get offended when they mistake the subject of a joke with the actual target, and they're not necessarily the same, you know? You can do a joke about race without being racist, but people hear the subject come up, and they go, oh, no, that's not allowed, that's taboo, and ideal in taboo subjects for that reason because I want to take the audience to a place that hasn't been before. Uh, when I start a routine, I can feel the tension and then I come down on the right side and everyone gasps and laughs. You know, I've taken through a scary forest yeah. and, the, and that's what humor's for. It's to make us laugh at bad things. That's what it's for. It's to get us over bad